Hey, what's up, Vinny? Um, so today I am checking out the Nintendo Switch Online uh, capabilities, or not not capabilities. If if you pay for the bullshit online, you pretty much get this package of NES games that you can play, and some of them have special features. And so the one that I am checking out, I'm gonna check out Super Mario Brothers Two. Uh, the Lost Levels, which, which is pretty hard. I've I've beaten this game. Um, I think not on Game Boy. I don't think it was on Game Boy. Maybe on an emulator. Uh, but it's been it's been a long time, man. And and already I can tell that these uh, these Switch controls are not quite how I'd want them. For some reason, <laughs> A A is jump. Um, a as you kind of hope in a Mario game, but run is X, which is the top button, uh, which for some reason doesn't seem intuitive to me. Uh, either that, or it's just been a while since I've played a, uh, side-scrolling Mario game. Uh, I don't really know yet if this is gonna be old-school rules, where if I die, I have to start, like, the whole fucking game over. Um, but I do know this game is pretty fucking hard, so... We will see. I almost just, I almost just died. Um, anyway, to to catch you up on what's been going on with me since the last episode, um, I'm graduated, dude. I'm I'm a I'm a master of arts now. So you can call me Master um, Shane or Master Page or or Headmaster uh, Shane. And yeah, I I got all those fucking dumb papers finished. I. Uh, and now I'm an unemployed boy, waiting on one more paycheck from MSU. Um, fuck. Okay. I died. I think that's a bad sign uh, for the thing I was about to say. Um, oh, dude, weirdest thing. This is actually the, the, the more important update in my life. Uh, my laptop's audio, for some reason, which, which stopped working two years ago, suddenly works again. So I can, like, not have to have my headphones in all the time, which... I mean, you know, it's not it's not like a huge deal, but it's it's kind of nice. Um, but anyway, I I graduated. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to teach a class in the fall. God damn it! I'm only on the second level, and this this game is pretty hard. Uh, I should go back to playing Final Fantasy. Oh, at least I get a at least I get a checkpoint. Um, yeah, this is some real, this is some real big kid, uh, Mario platforming. This isn't, this isn't for fucking, you know, Mario amateurs. This is for, this is for fucking Mario pros only. So, I mean, th that said, oh, <laughs> I almost just fucking died again. Oh my god. Okay. Um... Anyway, what was I saying? Um, yeah, I, I doubt, I'm pretty doubtful that I'll be able to teach a class in the fall, so I'm, I am looking for work. Um, I'm hoping I can survive a couple months on my last paycheck and sort of try to figure out the rest as I go. Um, I, I might work on this guy's book, his, his autobiography. That could be pretty cool. Um, I'm going to smash and split. What the fuck? This game has squids... That float in the air. Okay, can I jump on it? I I've always thought what makes the bloopers so so strange in these early Mario games is is their ability to move, you know, diagonally, and because uh, you know most enemies just sort of walk left to right. Even Bowser sort of just jumps in stupid little arcs, and those those bloopers, man, they can. They can really fuck with your life. Um, Alright, I'm a big Mario now, so that's good. Um, what else has been going on? I went to a wedding on Saturday. It was an outdoor wedding. Um, at one point, the, the, the there started to, to storm or whatever. It started to storm outside. And the wind actually <laughs> blew over the sort of arch they had set up uh, for the wedding that the bride and groom were, uh, standing underneath. Fuck. I just died. God damn it. <sighs> Let's see what happens if I... 
continue. World 1-1, one, one. nice. Okay, fuck that, I don't want to play this anymore. Um, oh, wow. You can create suspend points and load suspend points, and you have, so you, you, you essentially have, I mean, not, not save states so much as four save files to work with. You know, this is much better than the Wii U, um, the Wii U's interface for creating save states, even though you can only have, like, three at a time. Um, it, it's a shame they aren't putting more games on here, because, I mean, yes, on one hand, I mean, I'm scrolling through a, <laughs> a pretty large amount of NES games, um, and NES, any NES game that would matter, pretty much. You know, you've got Zelda, Super Mario 3, Super Mario 1, um, River City Ransom, Dr. Mario, Donkey Kong, Balloon Fight, oh, NES Open, uh, Legend of Zelda 2, Metroid, Wario's Woods. I didn't know that was, I didn't know Wario existed back then. Um, Legend of Zelda Adventure Link, Super Mario Bros. 2, Kirby's Adventure, St dude, Star Tropics? Star Tropics is pretty sick. I, I bought that game on the, the original uh, Wii Virtual Console, and uh, that game's pretty sick. It's kind of like Zelda, but with more dynamic movement. I mean, you can jump. Um, you use a yo-yo as, like, your, your weapon, and I think some other items you can get. Super Mario Bros. Lost Levels, I was just playing that. Punch-Out. Dude, you've got, like, every NES game here that you would want to play anyway. So it's kind of a shame that they're not using this for more games. And, and I get that probably some dumb Nintendo shit, they're just going to roll them out more slowly, but it's like... Why? Like, <laughs> what, are you, what are you keeping us waiting for? Like... The Super Nintendo has such an incredible library of games, and if you wanted to sell more SNES classics, you should fucking make more of them, because there are, like, none that exist. So, I don't understand Nintendo's current approach to to preserving their, their iconic games library. Like, I, I just... It's so strange to me that video games already struggle as... A fairly like disposable medium. Um, I think it was it was either Dunkey who said that, or I don't know some other stupid YouTuber that I watch. But it makes sense. Like it, in every couple of years, like the the previous iteration in in any series can be you know bettered and sort of outdone. And it's like Nintendo is sitting on these sort of beloved IPs and, and these games that, for the most part, have aged, like, pretty well, and, and they, they do so little to preserve them, and to preserve them in a way that, like, that works. I mean, there, there are emulators that people have made that, that far outclass uh, Nintendo's approach to emulation, and it's just like, do you give a fuck about your library? Do... Is it just not enough money for you to, 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 to care? Like, I just, I understand if these stupid NES and SNES things, the, the classics or whatever, are their way of making money off of this library, but they, they only put like 20 games on them, and in some cases they're not even the best games. I'm surprised Earthbound even made it on to the American released one be honest with you, I don't know, man, I just, there's so many things we could bitch about with Nintendo, and I don't even know where to begin or, or end at this point, let's check out Dr. Mario, see what happens with this, pause, why am I paused, uh, what, what, how am I in the middle of a game, I've never played this in my life, and I'm just in the middle of a game now, did you ever play this or some shit when I, like, wasn't here? Because I don't know what the fuck is happening. Why am I on level 20? What is going on? I'm just playing the game now, apparently. Oh, I'm stupid. I could have gotten the guy. Okay, either you played this at some point, or there's, like, a ghost in this apartment. Because I don't know what the fuck's going on. 
Uh, no. God damn it. Oh, man. Man, Dr. Mario is hard, dude. I should not have done this. I shouldn't have done this. This was a bad idea, and it's not. The controls are not as tight as Tetris. Just let the record show. These are not Tetris controls. Okay, this sucks now. I don't even want to play this anymore. It's like the music is just taunting me, you know? It's just it's just taunting me. And 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 I just don't <sighs> fuck this game. Fuck this game. I'm just going to let it go. I'm just going to let it go because it started me in the middle of a game and I I don't think that that's fair. So um actually I should focus on the point of the series. Oh, dude, the other thing I've been doing is learning a uh, new tarot card every day. So I know you're a little bit afraid of demons or whatever, but none of that shit's real. And, um, you know, you don't need to worry about it too much. But So yesterday I learned the Magician. And uh, what I kind of do, and today I'm learning the Ten of Wands. Um, and what I do is I sit with the card for a couple minutes. I let its demonic energy sort of take me over. I, I first write down all my impressions of the card, so, so everything that sort of comes to mind when I look at it, anything I feel when I look at it, and then I, I read about the card and take some, some notes on it and try to, to get down the basics of a upright reading and a reversed uh, reading. And then, or what's going to be my plan, um, of course, instead of looking for jobs, um, is to the the day after learning a new card, having now known it for, you know, 24 hours or whatever, I write a poem about it. So today I wrote a poem about the magician, and then um, tomorrow I'll write a poem about the Ten of Wands. I, I was going to learn all the major arcana um, all, all in a row, and then I was like, you know what, I don't remember how my deck um, got to the order it's in now, but maybe I should just fucking let it roll, dude. Like, maybe that's the energy. As, as it sort of needs to stay in, so, um, it's pretty sick, I'm, I'm really excited to learn them all, and maybe I can, I can get good at, uh, giving people readings, uh, what else, I feel like there, there's a lot, because since that episode with, with Skyla, I feel like a lot has happened, um, oh, I did, I did take your bedroom, um, because, you know, you're kind of pieced out of here, and you had the bigger room, man. And and I had a bigger bed than you. You know what I'm saying? So I had to take it. I'm sorry, dog. Um, but what's good for you is that I moved all your stuff out of there. And it's going to be way easier for you to move it out now. Now, if you ended up living here again, it would be a little awkward. Uh, I'm not going to lie. But for the time being, um, I think this will work. I think this will work pretty well. So, you know. I mean, it's not, if you're gone, it can't be your room, you know, as sad as it is. I'm, I'm an empty nester now without you. You're like, you're like my kid who's, who's not gone off to college, but he's gone off somewhere, you know, so. I uh, still haven't beaten Final Fantasy VII. I, I thought about sitting down and, and playing Final Fantasy VII while, while talking to you here, but then I decided against it. Um... Here, how about this? The last game I will check out will be Ghosts, Ghosts and Goblins. And we're going to do one player. And it appears we are... Oh, shit. I'm naked next to my bride. I think I was just having sex with her out in the graveyard. Oh, now I have a suit of armor on. Yo, okay, dude, oh my god, what the fuck, how do you, oh my god. Okay, dude, so this game starts where you've just been having sex with your fertile wife, and then all these ghosts and goblins come out of nowhere, and you gotta fight them, holy fuck. What is going on? Dude, I'm gonna, like, play this game hell as I think, alright, let's see. Holy shit. This is not going to be easy. I can already tell. Okay, so the main premise of this game seems to be don't get fucked by all the zombies. Seems to be 
Oh shit, okay. Holy fuck, wait, I'm out of weapons. <laughs> oh my god. So if you get hit, you lose your suit of armor. And then you're just running around in your underwear again. Oh my god, dude. This game cannot be good for my hands, I'm gonna tell you that right now. What the fuck? Okay, <laughs> turned into a frog. Okay. I'm not gonna do that thing again where I narrate gameplay that no one can see except me. Um, but that, that game was pretty sick. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna try to start uploading these a bit more regularly, um, since you're actually moved out now. Um, so I hope you're doing well. Um, I hope you're taking care of yourself and <coughs> sort of, um, figuring everything out. Uh, we all miss you here in Springfield, but, but we, uh, hope that you're, um, feeling a little better in, 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 in St. Louis. So, um, yeah, take care, man. I will see you in the next episode.